I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Our last video, we talked about our goal to increase revenue. The strategy for doing that is to increase audience, and not just audience, interactive audience. And not just interactive audience on air, but across platforms, so that they're all interacting with you online as well as on the air. And it doesn't cost you any extra money to do that stuff. Talked about on-air tactics specifically last time around. This time, we're going to get into Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook tactics. First off, we'll go with Twitter. Uh, first off, what you have is a station page, a page that's uh, dedicated to the station. And what you put on there, or, or, or what are you updating? What, I'm having a bagel for breakfast? Nobody cares what you're having for breakfast for the most part. I mean, they, they might, but probably not. They're not going to sign up for that. But if you push teases, what songs do you have coming up? Maybe a tease that says something like, uh, uh, a guy that's uh, got a brand new movie coming out, his new hit song. Well, that's the new Tim McGraw, of course. Um interviews that you have coming up. Uh, coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to be talking with Tim McGraw about his new movie. There you go. It's your 140 character twi tweet right there. Uh, contest. Talk about contests you're going to have. Uh, later on today, we're going to give you a chance to win Coach Cal's uh, Mustang. So there you have it. Also, you can put on there lists for embedding in the station website. And what I mean by that is Twitter now allows you to make various lists of people that you're following and you can, uh, I have one that's called Country. It's just country artists and magazines and CMT and GAC and that kind of thing. Things that are about country music that are just cutting edge, whatever they're saying at that particular moment. Well, I can take that list and I do this on my website. You make a, a, a widget, they call it. Embed that in your page, real simple. They give you the code. It's all free, and it freshens itself up. It updates. People go to the website to see what's the very latest from all the different country artists, and you've provided that for them. You've given them a reason to go to your web page now, and you're using Twitter to do it. You can also, on Twitter, uh, push people to the station website so they can get more information about various things. And that's what you really want to do. Now, it is possible to make money by selling tweets if you have enough followers. If you have you know, 5,000, 10,000 followers, there are plenty of people that are selling tweets for hundreds, even thousands of dollars. You can do that. There is value added right there that the salespeople can take out on the street. So there's money right there. We're talking about hitting that goal of increasing revenue. Twitter, that can do it for you right off the top. But it's the least of them. I think YouTube is useful. And here's one way it's useful. Look, what am I doing right here? This is called, well, you're familiar with the term blog, where you're writing up a thing. People have to read that. We're in a video and audio age. People like listening and viewing. This is a vlog, a video log. Simple to do. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm using my webcam to do it right now. And it doesn't take any time. Well, not a lot of time anyway to do it. What would people like to see? In the radio station, behind the scenes stuff. We can turn on the webcam and, and take a little piece and lift a piece out. It's easy to edit this stuff. I've got the software right on my, my laptop. Um, show us uh, doing a bit on the air and they get a different perspective on the entire bit. Wow, wouldn't people like to see that? I think they would. I think they would actually go online to see that. Uh, and maybe some bits that are just for the audience only, something that you're offering them just for going online and seeing it. So there you go. Here's another idea. Uh, you have an artist in the studio or an author or whatever it is, set up two cameras and shoot the, the uh, interview, take the audio from off air, edit that puppy up, put that online. You think people would like to see Darius Rucker answering your questions in line? You bet they would, or Carrie Underwood, or uh, uh, whoever it is, you know, that happens to be in your studio that particular day. You know, they'd love that. And the thing is, you use it that one time, but not just that one time. You build up an archive of interviews, and people are going online all the time. It just builds and builds and builds. Um, some maybe special web only content for people as well. Another thing you can do is special pieces, little interview pieces or little pieces that are uh, for big announcements. You can put your station TV commercials on there. Listener footage, you can have a contest where make us a commercial and, and we can put those online. You don't have to actually buy TV time to do that stuff. Isn't that something? What an age we live in when we can do this stuff and it doesn't cost anything to do it. We have everything we need right now. I say let's use every tool we possibly can and build that audience. And then, then we've got something happening. Now, 
Uh, Facebook is the coup de grace. This is where you really uh, bring the whole thing together, the synergy of it all, because you can provide links to bits that you've done on the air, uh, external sites maybe, uh, links to charities that you're working with and that kind of stuff, and what they're doing. A lot of good stuff on there. Uh, MP3 of your bits, and you put it on Facebook, and you don't have to worry about using your, your streaming bandwidth from uh, from the station website. It's, it's on YouTube, or Facebook, actually. Um, you can embed those vlogs I was talking about and the uh, interviews and begin driving people to both your station website and to the uh, YouTube channel, and even your Twitter channel. These things work together. There's a real synergy there. Teases. You put teases on your status, and it works very much the same as Twitter in that respect. Photos. You can have photos of different events you've done. Hey, we got a shot of some of our listeners there. Go see if you're in there. Think people would want to do that? You bet they would, especially if there are pictures of them with an artist. It's a way to get pictures of uh, uh, the people into their hands, and they can direct other people there as well. It just feeds itself. Uh, a wall of fame of uh, you know the, the jocks with various stars and that kind of thing. Uh, and some fun stuff. I love using Photoshop. We can have some fun with that and, and post those things on Facebook as well in our in our photo section. Contests, maybe some Facebook-only contests. Uh, some of my friends, young and elder, I uh, met at Westwood One, a really good morning show. They're now in Memphis. And one of the things they do is they have their, their morning uh, news and traffic guy holding something up. What is Captain Pat holding up today? Well, it's a glass of water. It's all it is. But people can go online. You, you just talk about on there. What's Captain Pat holding up today? And the first person with the right answer online, or the third person, or whatever it is, uh, you know, wins some sort of a prize. Or you can tip people off to on-air contests. Give them the answer online. So we're going to ask this question in the eight o'clock hour, and here's the answer. Or um, you know, just ask the question online as well. That's another way to do it. Polling and brainstorming with the audience. Asking people, what do you like, blueberry or apple? What's your favorite pie? Pumpkin? Whatever it happens to be. You can ask people that kind of stuff or talk to them about where's the best burger in town or whatever it is. Silly on-air stuff. Polling, you can do that. Uh, left or right? Red or green? doesn't really matter. Just ask people questions and they'll do that. They'll love jumping in and arguing over red or green. I'm telling you. They do, and you can lift bits out of that. It's, it's, it's silly, but it really does work. Uh, you can have them help you choose a bit or a song. Yeah, tomorrow morning at 7.10, we're going to play either the brand new Leanne Rhymes song or uh, a deep album cut from uh, the Zach Brown band. Which would you prefer to hear? And let them pick it out. I'm telling you. This stuff actually does work. So there you go. There are some tactics. Again, I'll let you peek into the bag, but I'm not going to pour the bag out on the table for you. you got to hire me for that. But you get an idea now that I kind of know what I'm talking about, and I really can't put this stuff into effect. All right. Looking forward to hearing from you. I hope these things will work for you, and uh, hope they work for us, if you know what I mean. Talk to you soon.